Now an eyewitness news alert. A woman answers the door to a man claiming to work for the city water department. But when he gets inside the woman's house, she ends up being robbed of cash and precious items. New at 6, Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Estevan is bringing us the warning from city officials. Police tonight urging everyone to be cautious before letting any unexpected visitors into their home. If they say they're working for a utility company, ask for an ID. If you're still not sure, call the company they work for. That's because police tell us it was about a week ago an elderly woman let a man into her home in Silver Lake after he claimed to be with the water department. He told her he needed to check her sink. Well, he wasn't there with good intentions. While she was distracted, someone else got into the home and stole cash and valuable coins. Similar scams pop up from time to time. Police are warning everyone to use caution, letting anyone into your home for any reason. Providence Water tells Eyewitness News it rarely, if ever, needs to gain access to a home unannounced. However, in rare circumstances, that entry is required. Customers should see an employee badge, something police say holds true for every utility. The only incident that we had so far reported to the police department, mm -hmm. um, it's kind of a common scam that, that from time to time does arise. Yeah, um, we, do, we do see this once in a while. What is it that people should look out for? Just any, any, anybody coming to the door unsolicited, um, identifying themselves as, you know, from the utilities, whether it's National Grid, uh, Verizon. The knock on the door isn't as innocent as it presents itself. Don't open it. Just call police. Live with the Mobile Newsroom, Nicole Estefan, Eyewitness News.